Hi, thank you for joining us. This is Dina at Revenant Nation Radio and NewWinePouring.com. Well, we're at the Revenant Nation channel today with a new episode. But before we begin, I want to remind you of the Dream Journal website, NewWinePouring.com, which is a website for my prophetic ministry. And so if you go to NewWinePouring.com with one W, and then go to the top where it says Contact Us and click that link, you will be able to correspond with us if you have any questions or comments or if you would like for us to look at your dream if you believe that God has given you a dream and you need interpretation for it we'll do one of three things we'll either be able to interpret it which that ability comes through the Holy Spirit or we will uh, have some insight that we can share with you and then be able to coach you on some of the symbolism that is taking place in the dream contact us and we'll go from there so let's open up this podcast in prayer. And oh, by the way, if you have never encountered us before, please go to the website before you send any correspondence about dreams so that you can get an idea of what's going on. In fact, God may be able to reveal to you through those articles what it is that he's speaking to you about. So it might just trigger some understanding that you need to help you unlock your dreams, okay? So, but let us begin in prayer right now. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, you know everyone that's listening, everyone, Father, that's tuned in to this podcast and what their needs are. And we lift up those needs to you right now. It's your desire that we live in health, that we prosper even as our soul prospers. Father, we're so important to you that you gave your only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And we accept what Jesus did on the cross for us. And he died that we might be able to live. He was beaten with many stripes that we might be healed. In fact, the scripture that says, by his stripes, in Isaiah, by his stripes we were healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We've all gone our own way. But he was wounded for our transgressions and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we were healed. You sent your word and you healed them and delivered them from destruction. So it is God's will for you to be healed. It's God's will for you to be made whole in your life. And so, Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for everyone that's receiving your spirit right now and saying yes to healing and ministry and your love and your peace that passes understanding. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Well, what I wanted to talk about was occupying the place or the space that God is calling you to to walk in before you even get there. And so it may be your post. Uh, everyone has a post. There's a word in Proverbs that says when the king gets angry at you, don't leave your post. Don't run off just because uh, you made your boss mad, right? And uh, Or just because things aren't going so well, don't run off and leave your post because it's very important that where we've been ordained to stand, the place God wants us to stand in, we, we are found standing there in the evil day or whatever is going on, we're found standing where we belong right now as I'm talking in the spirit realm I'm seeing like a snowstorm okay and in a snowstorm we can lose our equilibrium we can lose our way because the road becomes covered with snow and you don't know what is road and what is sidewalk and if the landmarks become covered up or un definable if you can't define or see what your landmarks are you can get lost and so if God has a guard at every station that has a flashlight or a torch and they're standing guard at that intersection right and we're being responsible uh, in doing that even when it seems like we're not having impact you have to understand you are having an impact God doesn't do anything for nothing. I mean, there's always a purpose behind everything that he's called us to do. And so 
whether there's activity or inactivity going on at your post right now, all we have to be concerned about is staying there until the Spirit of God tells us to go somewhere else. And so we change off and move on. We need to make sure that we are always occupying our place in Christ Jesus, doing what he's told us to do. The Lord says, occupy until I come. And have peace in that and rest in it, that even though there is not that much going on, you may think, it might be very busy, it might be very quiet, as long as you're at your post and you don't let somebody offend you and run you off, then you're in the will of God. And God's pleased with that. And it can be something very small. Be standing at the door greeting people when they come in to your house ministry or they come into a place of meeting of some sort and you're just there greeting people and smiling and letting them know that they're loved. Or it could be running a mission in, uh, I don't know, uh, somewhere in Africa somewhere in South America. But as long as everybody's at their post, then we're all doing our part. And we're entering into each other's work because the same person that is greeting people as they're coming through the gates of a complex to hear about the Lord Jesus Christ and the person that's standing up on the stage that has all the light on them and all the focus and everybody knows their name, uh, when we are working together in one in the kingdom of God and we're his employees, God's employees, not man's, all right, not our own, of our own initiative, but our direction, but of God's direction, then we are a part of that greater work. One man sows the seed, another man waters it, but God gives the increase. It doesn't matter because it's as unto the Lord. And he sees these things differently than we see them. You know, it's God that gives the increase. It's the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. It's the goodness of God that causes men to repent. It's the goodness of God that draws people to himself. We cannot even come to him without the Spirit of God drawing us. So it has nothing to do. We're just people standing at our post. And as long as we're found standing at our post then we're pleasing to God. Whether no one comes through the gate we're standing at and, and millions of people are going through the gate the other people are standing at, as long as we're standing our post. Don't, don't run away from your post. Just trust God when it's uh, mundane. Just trust Him. Never leave it until He says you're relieved from your duty. Okay? And then the other thing I want to talk about real quick is occupying your post in the spirit realm before you even get there. And this is talking about the call of God on your life when you're called by the Spirit of God to do a certain thing. It may be something that's for one night. It may be something that's some, for every night of the year. Uh, whatever it is that the Lord is leading you to do, then occupy that place when you're not there, before you get there. Occupy that place in the Spirit, by the Spirit of God, through the Spirit, so that you can drive out any kind of darkness that is residing in the place that you're going to be. This is how you get success. You know that scripture says, He makes a way where there is no way. He causes rivers to spring forth in the desert. And the reason that happens or why that happens or how that can happen where a place is blessed and just open when we get there because you know sometimes we're doing something it might be a meeting God's having us to do or whatever it is it might even be starting a new job and it's difficult and it's hard and you're bumping up against a lot of personalities and maybe even people that don't even want you there okay and uh when you do spiritual work before you get to where God is calling you to be or the place he wants you to stand or the job he wants you to begin um, or the church he wants you to lead or the ministry of whatever sort that he wants you to participate in, but you have your place that God's called you to occupy, especially if it is a new place, 
then there is going to be somewhat of a stronghold that you're taking because whenever you take ground, we've got to do a work in our prayer life. We've got to occupy that space in the spirit before we actually go out there and take it. And so when you do that, the devils will know your name. Do you think that Jesus walked into the cities he walked into, walked down the roads he traveled before praying, before he went there? See, the Bible says he broke away from the group and prayed by himself a lot. We know that. It's all through the scriptures. He always went and broke away from the rest to go and pray. And, you know, he did it with his disciples, too. He expected his disciples to be there praying with him. It's not just the leader that's supposed to be praying about these things. It's like a shepherd and a pastor and his deacons, you know. Don't let the pastor do all the prayer ministry. In fact, just because they're deacons doesn't mean that they can't be as strong in prayer as the shepherd and knowing the word of God like the shepherd. You know, we have that illustration in Acts where Stephen was a deacon, but he was full of the Spirit of God, full of the Word. It doesn't mean that you don't need to be full of prayer. And you know, promotion comes from the Lord. And when we're faithful with the little things, He will entrust unto us more, right? Occupy that place in your prayer life before you even get there. Then you will have knocked out all of the resistance and all of the opposition that could raise its ugly head so that when you get there, you will have success. You will be able to get right to business. You won't be there fighting devils. You'll be there casting them out because they heard your commands going out in the spirit realm towards that place, taking that ground for God when you were in your prayer closet, when you were doing the spiritual work preceding the natural work of standing at your post in Christ Jesus. So anyway, we're glad to have connected with you today. On the Spreaker channel, you can go down and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you on the actual Spreaker podcasting platform. Until we meet again, God bless. Welcome to Remnant Nation Radio and NewWinePouring.com. That's with one W. The prophetic ministry of Dina Barnes. Tune in as she shares what God has revealed to her through dreams and visions, both nationally and internationally. Remnant Nation Radio is a prophetic and poetic view of the sojourning bride of Christ in the world today.